Welcome to a quick post-processing tutorial in which I'll show you how you can use frequency separation to remove color fringes or chromatic aberrations in your photos. So normally you would remove chromatic aberrations right in raw processing. So you'd use Lightroom and this usually works fine and most of the fringes will be removed. But if you're shooting extremely wide lenses, you often notice some fringes towards the edges and this is especially true if you have very high contrast edges in an image. So many of you will already know this photo here. This was the photo I took in Hong Kong and I was using the tilt shift lens from Canon and I had to shift to the extreme edges. So basically giving me a field of view which you'd have with a very wide angle lens. And I also got some of the visual artifacts that are quite typical and if I zoom in here, so this is the final image, the processed version. And if we look at the 100%, it looks very good here. We have sharpness, we don't have any fringes. But I've saved a layer where I still have some fringes here in the bright areas. So let me show you. If we look now at those areas here, let's go to 200%. You see that I have those purple fringes around these bright areas. And such fringes are quite normal if you're shooting wide angle lens. So to the far edges, you can't get rid of those with the chromatic re aberration reduction in Lightroom, at least not for the lenses I use. I often get some leftovers and yeah, here in this case, those look quite ugly. And frequency separation can be used to remove those. And I'll now show you how to do this. So the first thing is, I duplicate this layer twice. So I just drop it down here and I call one of those low. So this is the typical frequency separation workflow I'm showing here. If you already know it, you know what I'm doing. So that's the high layer. And the first thing I now do, I select the low layer and I go to the Gaussian blur filter. And the aim here is to blur it just enough to, to blur those yeah, fringes here, those purple fringes. And you usually play around with this a bit. So normally frequency separation, the radius you target here, basically the features you want to work on. And those here, for those I need a very small radius of around three pixels. This is basically the size of those fringes. And I press OK. And this is now the low layer. So the low frequency layer. Now I activate the high frequency layer and I go to image, apply image. And I already set this up here. So I select the low layer as input. Then I make sure to have invert active. The blending mode is set to add. And then I set scale to two, and opacity to 100%. This is just something you have to maybe create an action for if you want to do frequency separation. It's always the same. I press OK and now as a last step I set the blend mode for this high layer to linear light. What you see now if I deactivate those two you don't see any change. So the frequency separation layers in combination give me the exact same image. So let's zoom out to 100% again. What I can now do if I just activate the high frequency layer, you see that the fringes, the color fringes are contained in this layer. So most of the layer is gray or some kind of gray, but those fringes, the purple shows through here. And what I can now do, I can use a brush and set it to mode color. So when I'm painting, I'm just affecting the color. So not the details in the image. And I'll zoom in again to 200%. What I uh, usually do now, I sample a color close to those fringes, go to 100% or 90% and I just paint over the fringes. And I have to resample a bit, but normally you don't have to resample so much. So as I said, most of the frequency, high frequency layer is just gray in tonality. And let me just, just show you the effect right away. So if I activate the rest and first sample. So if I now paint here, 
you see how the purple color is removed from those edges. And this is exactly what I want here. So I'm removing those purple fringing and it doesn't matter if you have red fringes, orange fringes, but with this technique, you can get rid of those quite nicely. Let's look at this side and yeah, and the colors and the rest of the image are basically preserved because those are mostly contained here in the low layer. If you see here, those blues, little shades of cyan green, those are on the low layer. And what I'm painting in the high frequency layer does not affect those. Yeah, and I'd now go on, fix all the fringes also down here. Just remove those and it works perfectly if you have light sources because there you often have some fringes. And with this technique, you can get easily rid of those to create a high quality image.